Okay, so we got some new LEGO City sets. Starting with the smallest one, we got some new LEGO City stunts. I don't know what these guys call it because it doesn't say in the box here. But this is kind of a, a bear costume guy. It, it obviously reminds me a lot of Splatoon, just kind of with the paint splattered on it. So that's interesting. We also got another bike with this guy here. I do like the face, kind of the cool glasses, but this one's kind of a lot more generic. Don't really care for it too much. Um, we also... Uh, none of these I could find names for, but this one is obviously some sort of a police canine unit training course. I, I really like this one. Um, just kind of get a small little German Shepherd with a larger one there with a leash, two uh, mini figures, food bowls, bone, even comes with dog poop boat. Uh, shovel and a brush. The one thing I'm kind of confused by is what the police officer doing with those weird arms kind of in the middle of the screen. Those arms were, are from the cactus suit girl, so they're repurposing there. I just don't know what they're supposed to do. Are they supposed to protect it from dog attacks is my guess. I don't know. If you know what this is, please let me know down below. Uh, next we have a 4 plus police station. This one's awfully generic. Another dog, two officers, two robbers, motorcycle. It's he has a pink cup. That's it. That's probably the most unique thing about it. It's really generic. So on to the next one. Where this one I'm really interested, it's the police officer training course. So the looking at this one. It's very it reminds me very much like um of Wipeout, just kind of the officer course at the bottom right. Things spinning, jumping, things. It comes with a new, uh, I think, like, kind of a technique piece. So I don't know if that's new, but the first time I'm seeing this, that a character, bottom right, you can see that there's kind of like this um, long rod that, with threads in it, so to move the minifigure across upon that. So I think that's um, really cool. Really want the set to, just to see that new piece. Comes with a, um, the newer horse color um, zip line. So Rock climbing. Well, this one also reminds me a lot of the Lego City Undercover game. Um, if you want me to start playing that game on here because I'm wanting to play it again, please let me know. So, I'm, yeah, I'm, just, I'm really excited about this set. I think it's a really fun set. Um, next up, I think this one's kind of an emergency um, response unit. Um, one that comes with a small little hospital build, an ambulance, um, police officer, fire helicopter. Barbecue big build and a robber on a mountain bike. This one's off the generic. This is a great starting set. It comes with the um, road plates, which you can't really see on the front image, but it says so on the top right. So take it what you will. Got some neat colors here. And I don't think I'm going to pick this one up, but I do think this is a really good set just by looking at it. Next up, we have another fire boat. So we got a tiny little boat um, that's on fire. And this boat actually floats, not much to say on it. Um, if, so let's move on to the next one, which you got a heavy, uh, another fire truck with a little electrical fire at this one. And it has a little bit, bit of a um, rabbit hole build in the back there. Drone, um, it has a lot of drone units, so this is kind of a high tech um, fire department here. So that's kind of, that's fun. Now we got a four plus fire station with a somehow a actually no, no I see it. it's not ice cream it's popcorn popcorn car got caught on fire so that's your little story of a mission there um, I think the slide's kind of a fun detail for it and kind of a big base for it and it's kind of a good way to get some cheap um, firefighters now I think the set's probably one of the best one this is a vet truck. Honestly, I don't know of any vets that go around a truck. We have some good Dr. Torso pieces. Those are kind of harder to get. Um, a little animal stre stretcher. And you get two animals here. A, a pug for one and a little gray cat. Um, I think this is a good just little set. I do plan to pick this one up just for the animals and the minifigures. I think they're great. However, I do want to point out that this vehicle is back being four studs wide. Meanwhile, most vehicles from like the Speed Champions are like approaching eight studs wide. So try putting those two together. It's not going to look quite right. So I think I just want to point that out to Lego. And this one I find awfully generic. It's an electric sports car. And they make sure you know it's electric because it comes with the piece to plug your electric car in. 
I don't think Lego's going to do gas stations anymore. Uh, but the thing is, this is kind of just a generic car, nothing really special about it. It's probably going to be cheaper than the Speed Champion, so if you want a, a new Lego car, here you go. Then I think this is kind of another fun one. I, try, I think this is, uh, I guess, I want to say it's um, a smoothie van, even though it's a penguin. I associate penguins more when it comes to drinks and snow cones. But it's kind of just a fun build. I kind of like the larger um, cup and straw on the top. That's a, I think that's a really clever build up there. I like how the front of the vehicle looks like a penguin. It makes it a little bit more fun. And get reuse of the penguin outfit from the CMS series. And I do like the little girl's hair um, shape. And it's kind of fun to get in that color. And she, She's a cute figure. <clears throat> Next, this one, I, this is another one I really want. It's, I'm, I, I'm, I guess I'm after construction vehicles when I did my Technic video. So this is just kind of a um, excavator. It has a little drill bit on the back and just kind of minor construction things and demolition things. So it's just kind of a construction set that I plan on getting. I'm actually in the construction field. So then we get a um, recycling, not garbage, recycling truck because we got eco-friendly. Um, honestly, you can just use this as a uh, garbage truck and just not put the recycling stickers on it. Um, where I live, they actually go through all the garbage as it is and sort things out for recycling. They don't, the land, it's not really much of a landfill they go through it for you. So it's not, you know, you throw the garbage, it's, it's going to end up being recycled anyway here. So not too bad. Gets a little, I think that's a little white kitten piece. So my wife may want me to get this set just for that little white kitten piece. So, and I do like the minifigures in the set with the neon yellow torsos and I, do like the girl next to the recycling bins in the back. So that's fun. Then this we have an off-roader. I think that's a fantastic build for a tent. It has a, a rabbit, which we've seen before. A tiny little campfire. And I've seen the suspension on this vehicle. The wheels go really uh, far up. Most likely those are... Um, it's due, The suspension is triggered by rubber bands versus... Um, actual springs. I prefer springs in my vehicles. I think they are. It's a lot better and less likely to break. And you just got a little small details of terrain. Then you have this video game championship truck. Um, I'm questioning the front of the truck a little bit. It doesn't look quite right to me. It's fine. It just looks off. But the trailer of it looks really good. A lot of details. It, and you can look at between the two competitors. I think you can actually move the tiles back and forth to simulate the video game. So it's just kind of a fun set for gamers. I want to see if I can actually get my hands on this one. I also find it interesting that they're printing um, on the underside of the piece. It's usually considered the bottom side. So that's just fun. And I'm kind of curious how the um, seats fold in so they can, you can actually roll it through your Lego City. Then we have this garage here. Um, I'm not as big as a fan of these figures. I like the figure on the far left. I just don't like that hair piece, and I just not, I'm not into bright colored hair. It's just not my thing. But you got like a. I wonder how customizable these cars are because if you look in the back, there's some fronts of vehicles and backs of the vehicles. I wonder if you could just take like the fronts of these vehicles and the backs off and make a custom vehicle. I think that would be kind of cool. I think Lego should make a car customizing set again. I haven't really seen one since like 2007 or 2008, one of the two. So, yeah, you can also get another colorful wheelchair, which I'm actually getting probably more Lego wheelchairs than I need at this point for it to be, I guess, realistic. But it's just an extra piece. I don't care too much. Then, I think this is also a great farming set because with the little squirrel, I had been trying to find a set with the new squirrel piece that came out last year. Because with the Ladybug title, I have several of those as it is. Water can and the vehicle's fine. So I'll get this set. It's only $10 just for the squirrel and small little tree, which I haven't seen that small tree in a while either. Then you got another uh, police chase set. This is, I believe, also going to be around $10. It's generic, but like this vehicle is like very weak comparatively to a lot of other vehicles that are not four plus. So it's fine. It's four studs wide. It is what it is. Then we got another ten dollar one with the vehicle. 
cat stuck in a tree. I do like this set too. Want to get a little kitten, great little kitten. So that'll be fun to get. And that's a little spoiler from the next video I'm going to record. So tell me your thoughts below these Lego City sets. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and see you all next time. Goodbye.